because once he hit that pole, they just went up in flames. A Jeep completely up in flames on the Ridgeway exit off 385. They're about to start going their car, getting stuck to bust the windows. I would say, we got to get this man out this car. Witnesses say the Jeep was driving eastbound on 385 when he was sideswiped by another car, pushing him down a hill and into this pole. Moments later, flames came through the hood of the car. Find anything but a gallon of water, so I went back to try to wet him so if the fire got inside the car, maybe it wouldn't burn him as bad or keep him as moist as he could possibly be. They tried to find a fire extinguisher, but were unsuccessful. Moments later, a man ran over with a jack iron and broke through the window. And we got to cut that seat belt. Somebody to go find something. Cut the seat belt. He appeared to have been completely trapped in the driver's seat because the steering wheel was pressed up against him in the chest. Witnesses carried the man to safety, and moments later, loud popping noises came from the car. A noise, they say they won't forget. That's his car from the blow, Lord. Please let us get this man out of here. The driver was taken to Regional 1 in non-critical condition, but a sight that brought tears to many was this Bible, the only thing left in a completely burned up vehicle sitting on the front seat. So that is God. So you don't believe, I don't know what to say.